still waiting on my engine, so there's a few things that I want to get done. This stuff on the roof where all the paint is faded, I think I'm going to paint that, but I have to wash this thing first, so that's what I'm going to do now. figured out how to remove this windshield trim and there's a bunch of caked and dirt so sweet looks like I'm gonna be doing that too So I'm going to be uh, refinishing these mirrors. I'm going to kind of scuff them up with these 3M finishing pads. And I got this semi-gloss black. Probably honestly should have gotten a heavier grit. Just barely doing anything.
All right, so I'm gonna begin prepping the upper portion of this cap for primer. All right, so the truck is outside again. Figured it'd be easier to put sand out here so I can use the hose and clean off all the, all the powder stuff. All right, so yesterday I uh, finished sanding, prepped it with acetone, and I just did a little spritz right here. And I got this. So I've been using 600 grit. I got this 400. I'm gonna sand this down. I didn't completely remove the factory silver, so I'm gonna try that. Alright, so have this first coat of primer drying for a few days now. I'm gonna go back and sand where the paint uh, lifted. So, but everywhere else it, it looks good. So I'm gonna wet sand and respray these areas.
All right, so while the primer is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and get this wire wheel cleaned up. That is the vacuum plate or the sandwich plate between the transmission and the engine block. Just hit this back and plate with a second coat of paint. Everything in the primer looks okay, except I still had a little bit of cracking like right here and right here, so I just sanded it. Now I'm about to hit it with more primer. And hopefully, if these two little areas are good, then the whole rest of the cab will be fully primed. All right, so I got all the primer spray that I'm gonna use, unless I find an area, but, so I'm just gonna take some 600 grit sandpaper and just go along and find little pieces of dirt and just kinda sand them out real quick. So I have the first coat of the silver sprayed and it's been drying for a few days. So I'm gonna go through again with 600 grit and just kinda just slightly sand out the little um, like dust particles and stuff I got in the paint when it was drying. So these are the, the air vents that go behind the, the B-pillar trim. And from factory, these have strips of rubber to shield from moisture, I don't know. But when I opened it up, they were all shriveled and cracked and falling apart. So instead of buying brand new ones from Toyota, they start at like 55 or 60 bucks a piece. So, I have a, a bike inner tube that I just bought and I'm going to cut out little rectangles and super glue them onto here. I got to cut 12 squares the 
size of this. One down. Okay, so I got all 12 square, all 12 rectangles cut. So now I'm gonna start by sliding them in like this. 